want to apply the filter on the dates that means the level or the the data you are providing according to the level want to apply filter on that we will see that but after the intro and go Hi everyone, this is Subrat and you are watching Fun and Futuristic. So on this channel, you will get to know about the programming languages, the framework and all about the algorithm. So please consider subscribing if you haven't yet. So this video is requested by a lot of users. I got in comments, I got some mails. So I decide to do this video. So it's a, it's a very simple task. So uh, what I thought from the comments or the mails that you guys want to filter with respect to date suppose from January to April you want to see the data from January to April not the whole chart itself so in that case what the solution is we have to reduce the level we have like the levels means this January February March April May June July so those are the levels so if you want to see from January to March so three months so so you have to set the level as a three months like here we are doing so for that what I will do I will add a drop down from two and will select from sub one month to another month from for this video I am assuming the from is always less than two as this is example will not evaluate the validation and all that you can do so I will speed up the video so please be with me perfect So as you have noticed, I just added two um, drop down is from from and to and apply date filter. So what I'm doing here, uh, HTML is pretty simple. Just two drop down with a for loop. I have created a array of months has months as a month uh, uh, text and the value as a corresponding zero one to three. And if you go to the I have some from and to and I'm assigning the value of uh, the selection to the from and to so when you press an apply filter apply filter may apply date filter so what it will going to do is it will just change the level of the chart like if you have remember the last video i will link the last video here you can go and watch how to add the filter uh, to your chart okay so if you notice this one in the last video we have seen the data so I will demonstrate again suppose I want the data greater than uh, greater than 400 okay so I'll say greater than then 400 when I apply filter only the data which is greater than 400 will be present there but for this video our aim is to filter through the levels the filter through the dates dates for this uh, scenario so suppose I want from Feb to June okay so I'll go and select Feb to June so this is from Feb to June then when I can apply you will see the, the the filter is get filtered then I can go ahead okay from Feb to June which are each greater than uh, 500 so that's how you can uh, go and check okay so what I did I take an array 
is same as the label and I am just slicing the, that array from the from and to so from is the zeroth value and two is the from is the not zeroth value from is the starting value two is the uh, end value so I'm just slicing that array and assigning that array to the levels so that the level can be manipulated so the previously the level will be of length eight now if you change to five from like from feb to june it will five so it length become five again if you want to change from jan to august just keep on apply so it will just apply and if, if you can apply the filter it just went on how you want so this is a simple thing so uh, what i meant to say is if you want to update anything you want to update the color you want to update the name you want to update the uh, legends you want to update uh, the feel level everything you can update uh, in the data set and if you run the that bar chart that update it will update the your data like here i updated the levels if you want to update uh, the color of the uh, bar chart if you want to suppose you know, the color of the bar chart scenario will be suppose your data exceeded 1000 or 2000 you want to make that as a red or green or something else that that for that month and for that data you can do that so that's uh, what i mean to say so wherever you want to add a filter wherever you want to give some data or want to filter some data just change that those value and just run the update on that chart itself so it will get updated automatically so that's it for today i hope you like this video so please hit the like button if you like it and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet share this video among your friend please give some valuable comment question anything you, you want to ask me you can ask there or any feedback about the video you can give there so please feel free to give that we will going to meet in the next video till that stay happy bye bye